guys, it's the Cello Guru. I'm coming to you from Alameda Point, California. This is the Advanced Beginners Toolbox video, and I'm super excited to show you some uh, ideas that I have for you to make you sound a little better. Are you sounding not that great? Do you sound a little bit more like a disgruntled animal when you play than you would like to? I know how you feel. I have been there. I have done that. It's okay. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you have lots of experience teaching students and I love to make students feel better. And I love to make up exercises that will help them get the lovely tone that they so want to produce on their instrument. Okay? So, let's start with the open strings exercise, okay? We are going to try to put our bow on the string. We are going to get a 90 degree angle. It's hard to see on the video, but 90 degrees bow to string. And if you want to put your bow up on your bridge and just check out that angle on all the strings, you can do that. That's the way it's going to move, right? Like the bridge is against the string. So we're going to play half notes and then we're going to play quarter notes. Okay. Half notes being two beats, quarter notes being one beat. I'm going to try to squish the stick with my index finger. I'm going to relax my arm weight so I'm not forcing and I'm going to make that string ring, okay, to get a lovely tone. Ready? One, two. much on your half note okay make that string ring make a beautiful tone okay cellos of all levels practice that if you go to a symphony concert you're going to hear cellists playing open strings it's our job to play gloriously because we're cellists it's the most beautiful instrument in the world right that's your job you're a cellist so you have to take it seriously okay all right so now we're going to do an exercise um, with scales so it's just practicing scales. We're gonna practice a slow quarter note, eighth notes, and then 16th notes on your C scale, okay? So we're gonna gradually get faster, all right? O, one, three, four. O, one, three, four. O, one, two, four. O, one, two. And then we come down, okay? You ready? Quarter notes, ready, go. your tone was the string ringing was there a warm sound did you like it um, if you couldn't if you can't play that fast yet that's okay no worries slow it down a little bit pretty soon you're gonna have some speed though uh, you can do it if you think that you want to do it um, that's the first step towards playing a little bit faster okay all right so um, now I want to give you a tip about getting yourself to practice like most everybody, when they go to 
practice, they don't want to practice. Most people don't want to practice. Our brain is designed to seek pleasure and avoid pain. So we'd much rather go eat some ice cream than practice or go on a walk with the dog or watch TV or do something that is relaxing and fun. But I know as a teacher and you know as a human that you're gonna feel much better if you do something with a little more value than that. So you have to know in advance that you're not gonna to wanna to practice. And then here's how you trick yourself. This is the best trick ever. Tell yourself you're only going to play for five minutes and that it's fine if you only play for five minutes. Add it on to, like, say, before I go on a walk, I'm going to practice cello just a little bit. Um, or when you come home from your walk or after you have dinner, doesn't matter when, anytime, just add it on. Say, okay, I'm just going to practice for five minutes. No big deal, right? It's not going to take a lot of energy. But what happens, you're going to find, once you start practicing, guess what? It turns into half an hour really easily because your brain gets engaged and it starts problem solving. It's really fun. Pretty soon you've practiced half an hour, 45 minutes. I do it almost every day. I trick myself like that. So use that trick and you'll be practicing more. You'll be getting the glorious sound that we cellists need to get because we have the most glorious instrument in the world, right? No brainer. Uh, okay, guys, so I hope you practice this. I hope this helps you a little bit on your journey towards musical excellence. Uh, if you like this video and you want more imaginative cello guru ideas, you can scroll down to find out more about the 12 step cello tune up course that I offer for advanced beginners which is what you probably are. Um, but if you're a little bit further along on your instrument, you can check out Cello Guru's Six Steps to Cello series. And those are really fun because we get to focus on jazz standards, Zen cello music, Celtic music, Irish music, music around the world. There's all kinds of fun options there, okay? You can find out how to get on a consult call um, with me to discuss your goals and dreams on the cello, you can click the button below, or you can just email me mar at thecelloguru.com. Don't forget the the. I hope you enjoyed this. There's more videos on YouTube as well for you, okay? Okay, advanced beginners, now go out and practice. That's what I'm gonna do.